Good morning. It is October 13. I am Miss Molly. I'm sorry. I'm a little bit under the weather right now. I've had some kind of a like, like a light cold, but uh, this is the continuation of the three card draw from this morning. So let me rehash where we started. We had the nine of elixirs, which is equal to the nine of cups in the regular tarot. Um, this is all about resolution. This is coming to the end of a phase and understanding that either it's time to shit or get off the pot, basically. Sorry for my language, but that's really what's coming down to. Um, Secondly, we got the Empress and she was in reverse. The Empress is all about confidence, feeling your power. And I mentioned that you know that you're powerful, but you haven't acted on it. For some reason, you're more worried about the other person than yourself. Okay. Then we had the um, Two of Blades or the Two of Swords, which is all about making a decision, not wanting to make a decision, being kind of stuck, right? Uh, but wow, guess what came out next? The Emperor. Okay, so the Emperor and the Empress in one row. Okay, that's a power couple. That means that there's definitely um, someone meant for you. This is what I this is what I'm picking up. That's not necessarily what the cards mean. But the emperor is also very confident. This is somebody who matches your energy, and they if if they haven't already shown up in your life, they're about to. So you need to make room for that person and um, realize that uh, you know you deserve exactly the love that you want, right? Okay, under the um, nine of cups or nine of elixirs we just talked about. Um, you do have the uh, three of swords or blades also reversed. So three energy is all about creation and um, blades or swords are about the truth, communication or ideas. So I feel like you're trying to be creative to deal with the situation and you keep thinking, well, what if I try this? And what if I try that? And what if I try this? But it's at the point where you're like, I've tried it all. Nothing's working. And so this is where the reality sets in because then we get the... Um, what is this? The Knight of Coins. So Knights are usually a change in energy. The coins are, or pentacles are about um, stability in the home, sometimes finance or career. So this also could be, a, um, have to do with a job that you've had for a while that maybe you're thinking about leaving or getting, you know, switching to something else. So it could be either personal or, or career. I'm not really sure on this one. It depends who's watching and how it resonates for you. But either way, um, with the Knight of Coins, um, he tends to move very slowly. As a matter of fact, he's at a standstill if you look at the original deck. Um, and so I feel like, again, you're sort of just, you don't feel secure enough to make the decision, even though you know the decision needs to be made. And whether it's a financial decision that's holding you back or just that sense of, I don't know where I'm going to go. Yeah, I, I've been there. I know how that feels. Um, then we get under that two of blades where I mentioned that indecision, that lack of decision making. And then we got more, um, we got the uh, nine of rods. So another nine energy, another resolution energy. The rods represent the wands in this deck. The Nine of Wands. Wands, again, are about your dreams, your hopes, your desires, expansion, and growth. Nine's about resolution. So I feel like once you have let go of this stagnant relationship, like I said, whether it's it's personal or it's work or even a friendship, um, it's going to open up things so that you can grow some more. And right now, you're kind of like your pot's too small that you're growing in, right? You need to transplant to a bigger, more freeing pot where your roots can grow out and your branches can grow out. It's like you're in this little tiny greenhouse right now in this tiny little pot and you're just too big for it now. Um, and lastly, we get the um, king of blades or the king of swords and he's about speaking his truth. He's also sometimes a little defensive and so this person or this boss or whatever it is that you're dealing with in your life may be a little bit defensive when you try to speak to them and that's because they're in their ego and you're not. So I feel like you need to understand where they're coming from and don't try to have these conversations that you know are going to go nowhere because you've done it, you've done it, you've done it. You've gone round and round and round and round. It's time to just stop having the conversations. If you feel the need to say something, write it down in your journal if you have to. But it's at that point where it's just, it's pretty much a waste, a waste of your time. That's what I feel. So now we're going to go ahead and jump into a second deck. This is my uh, Rome Choi deck. This is one of my favorites. Um, it's also a tarot deck. We got two cards that just jumped right out. Thank you, spirit guides. Any other spirits? In? <laughs> Did you see that? The cards are just flying out. And it's funny. It's a lot of the same cards I had yesterday. But weirdly enough, I did shuffle this deck quite a bit. So I'm not sure why they came out again. But maybe it's a lasting energy that's showing up again. So we get the four cups reversed. I don't read reversals as in their opposites. I just, it just tells me to pay attention. And what I do is I look at the reversal and I quickly see what stands out to me. And the thing that stood out to me on this is these little, and it's funny because I've looked at these cards a million times, these little yellow daisies, okay? And to me, daisies are all about that sense of youth, that sense of hope, that sense of happiness that we have as children before we have bills, before we have these difficult relationships and things we got to deal with. 
And I think that is what you want. You want that sense of freedom and happiness that was just that bubbly self that you used to be. And so you're looking back on these relationships you've had, whether again, whether it be career or personal, and you're going, God, what the hell was I doing? Right? What the F was I doing to myself? Why did I keep putting myself in these positions when spirit keeps trying to hand me better things? to make me happy, to make me feel that joyful playfulness again. Also, the polka dots on these cups represent playfulness. So I truly think this is where we are all going, and I, I'm feeling it too. Um, then we get the judgment card reversed as well. Um, and when I look at this card, the first thing that stands out to me is just, I don't know why, this little hand that's sort of pointing. I don't know if you can see that. She's pointing, so, or he, she, is pointing down the barrel of that trumpet. So on the regular jump, uh, judgment card, it looks like, an angel sort of blowing a trumpet and all these zombies standing up in their coffins getting started again, sort of a reset, right? But like I said, this came in upside down and I noticed this finger pointing down on her trumpet. So what she's pointing at is saying, this is all up to you. This has zero to do with spirit in the universe. This is on you. You have been handed the toolbox full of the tools and you are choosing not to use them. And if you wanna get moving on with your life, because guess what? This is the only one you got right now jump on it, right? Then we get the page of wands. And I think she came up yesterday too, or he. Pages are usually maybe somebody a little bit younger than you, or even it has a maturity issue sometimes. Sometimes pages can just be messages. Um, she's got the wand. Again, this is about your passions. See the water in the background? Water's about emotion, but it's in the background. She's tired of living in that emotion, that negative, like, I don't know what it's going to be like today, right? She's ready to move on. She's ready to walk down the shores and see what's on the other side. So I feel like, um, you're going to hear from somebody. I said this yesterday too, I think. You're going to hear from somebody or you're going to think about somebody you haven't heard from in some time. And they're going to give you a little insight you haven't had in a while. And that's why they showed up. So make sure that you uh, pay attention to those urges. Then we get the Eight of Cups reversed. Again, this speaks volumes. It's the last card here. Um, walking away from what doesn't serve you. We've heard that a thousand times. I feel like it's like that live, laugh, love shit, right? You get like enough already with the walking away from what doesn't serve me. Duh. Of course we're supposed to do that. But do we do it? No. But look, it's very similar to this card, but she's still walking in that water, see? She's still in emotion. This is why she's not leaving. She's still worried about how everybody else feels. Guess what? Nobody gives a shit about how she feels. Yeah, she's by herself, you hadn't noticed. So, <laughs> it's there. Um, bottom of the deck, though, this is so weird. Again, this card has come up in my personal readings like 100 times this week. Ace of Pentacles. Big opportunity. It's waiting for you from spirit stability, abundance, and it may be abundance in love. It may be abundance in happiness. It may not be money, but there's definitely something ready to show up, but you got to open that valve. And right now you are closed off because you're so in your situation right now. And, um, we all have to sometimes do these painful things, but you know, I was talking to my best friend yesterday about some things going on and she was really smart. She said, you know, Molly, um, sometimes we have to remember that we're, we are in pain. And when we're worried about other people's pain, we're still sustaining our own pain. And there comes a point where you, you got to know that you got to take care of yourself because nobody else is going to do it, right? And that really kind of spoke to me today. Um, and so we're going to go ahead and jump into um, some more decks. We're going to jump into an Oracle deck. This is my vintage deck. We're just going to see if we get a little word of wisdom here, a little more information. Thank you, Spirit Guides, for the uh, cards you already gave us, these beautiful cards uh, for the collective. Spirits, Ancestors, Guides. There we go. Did you see a card fly out to my face? <gasps> we got Celebration. And look at the butterfly. It's all about metamorphosis, right? Celebration, she's reaching to the sky. Look how beautiful she is. Doesn't she look powerful and happy? This is going to be you. This is going to be me. This is going to be all of us if we choose what we know is good for us, right? I love that. It almost made me cry. All right, going into the maps deck, y'all. Let's see what we get there. I just love that. It's so pretty. <laughs> All right, spirits, ancestors, guides, give us a maps card today for anybody tuning in. Ooh, you know what? I've never seen this card. This is so funny. I've had this deck for over a year now, and once in a great while, a card I had yet to see has popped out, and this is one of them. We got 20 flying. Look at this beautiful, like, Pegasus-type horse with all the colors. I love it. Flying over this maze. So that tells me that, yeah, there's there's some complicated stuff you're going to have to navigate, as in any change in our lives, right? Uh, but if you look, not only is this beautiful, I mean, unreal looking horse, and horses are all about strength, right? Um, but there's also some, some little leaves and fairies coming to meet this horse. Like, hey, hey, friend, come to our level, right? 
So I also feel this is about changing your surroundings of who's around you, finding people that are there to lift you up and meet you at that higher level, not people that are way down here that you're trying to pull up with you. It doesn't work, right? They want to be where you are, but you can't be the one that pulls them up. They have to climb. That's how it works. That's how our journey works. You have a 20 energy. So we have a two energy, which is about partnership. That's what we've been talking about, right? You have the zero energy, which is about anything goes. Like anything could be happening right now. Two plus zero is still two. So I do feel, as I said, there is a power match coming for you, I think. If you are not already in a relationship that you're trying to work out, there is somebody that's going to be exactly at your level, as I said before. So that's very exciting news. And it could, like I said, it could be a friend, it could be a job, it could be a lot of things. But however it resonates for you, it is not wrong. Okay. Now we're going to jump into the animal deck here. And as I've said before, this is basically how I do my readings for you. But in the end, some people like to have mediumship um, where they can reach out to their deceased loved ones. Uh, and that is something I love to do as well. All you have to do is go to my website, MissMollyKnows.com. I only do business through my website. That is a way of protecting you so that you know you are indeed being contacted by me, not anybody else. So I never ask you for readings. I never ask you for follows. I never ask for anything. I will only respond to you once you've reached out to me, just so you're aware of that. I just want to protect you. Wow, we got the raccoon inventor. And again, we've got that butterfly again showing up. Look at there. We also have pine cones on this card. Pine cones are, are you know, they're tough and um, they're everlasting. You know, they they basically, they're, they're hard. They're, they're sharp a little bit, yet, um, you know, they've got all those little spaces in between each, I guess you could call them petals, so to speak. And actually that makes them strong. So even some of our flaws, things that are missing in our life, uh, character deficits make us who we are. All right. So think of the pine cone. And, and, and if you think about your pineal gland, the gland right here, your third eye, so to speak, it is shaped like a pine cone, right? So this could also be mentioning the fact that your intuitive abilities are starting to kick in. Like maybe your gut is starting to tell you what needs to happen. Um, you did get the inventor raccoon and here's what it says. I'll let you look at the card real quick. It says, decide on what you really want. You have the ingenuity to claim it. Aren't we talking about this? Um, avoid being the trickster and practice integrity. So don't do anything crazy that you wish you hadn't done because you're so angry or pissed or hurt or whatever. Don't do that. Um, it says we, you have many roles and can juggle them well. So even if you have a lot of things going on in your life, you're going to be fine. You can handle this, but just, you know, one thing at a time, don't get all cuckoo and feel like you got to flip your whole life upside down all at once. Great. Lastly, we are going to jump into the moon phase deck. Moonology. Let's see what jumps out for some final words for you. And I apologize all the sniffing. I've been a little under the weather. So, whoa, that, whoa, not only did that card fly out, but it's a card again I have yet to see. I use this deck all the time. I've never seen this deck. And the reason it stood out to me is all the color on here, because usually these cards don't have a lot of color to them. And we got conclusions are within reach, full moon eclipse. Whoa. Okay. There's a lot to say about this card, actually. Um, a full moon eclipse. So if we are hiding a full moon, moons are about mystery, but the sun's about clarity. So I feel like uh, you got to get out of your own way saying, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. You do know what to do. Maybe you don't want to do it. I say that all the time to myself too. Um, and the fact that this moon is so colorful on this card really stood out to me. You know, you always hear, I, I, some people can't see the forest through the trees. You don't realize how powerful you are. The fact that you got a full moon eclipse, come on. That, the empress, the emperor, I mean, celebration, flying, inventor, ace of pentacles. You got it. You are strong. Just, that's what I want you to think about today. I am strong. Period. That's your affirmation for the day. I am powerful. I am strong. All right, everybody have a wonderful Thursday. I will see you all again tomorrow. I love you. And Sunday on TikTok, we will be doing a twisted tarot, 3M twisted tarot. It is myself, Michelle the Medium, and Mariana Energy Reader, Energy Reader Mariana. And we are going to talk about tarot. We're going to show you some tips on reading tarot and how we use the tarot. And it's just going to be a ton of fun. That is Sunday night at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. All right, everybody. And then Monday nights, Metaphysicopoly, 8 o'clock. All right. Have a great day. Bye.